Hi guys, it's Ben here, and just 24 hours after I said on this very channel that it looked like the Naby Keita to Liverpool deal was dead, a horror tackle and a Ghanaian fellas tweet later, and everyone's talking about the Ghanaian midfielder again. So as I said last night, Chris Bascom had reported that Liverpool were going to pull out of the Cater deal this summer. They were going to wait until next year when the release clause comes in. They'd had two bids rejected this year as opposed to the three that had been reported by some. Paul Joyce ran with the same story this morning. Some of you were saying in the comments on here and on Instagram that you thought it might have been a smokescreen to try and force Leipzig's hand. Darren Lewis from the Mirror did say last week that we would go in with a £70 million bid, having had the £66 million bid rejected. Joyce and Bascom obviously don't think so. But today, the Ghanaian journalists who I've cited a few times, Amadou Makadji, has said that Naby Keita is set to meet with Leipzig's management in the next 48 hours. He also indicated that Leipzig have received another offer from Liverpool, which they're yet to respond to. Is this guy reliable? We've obviously never followed him before. This is the first summer where he's been known to Liverpool fans. He said on Friday that there had been a green light given for Cater to move to Liverpool. He said that having rejected two offers already, Leipzig will find it hard to resist Liverpool's third offer of 80 million euros. With the fact that Liverpool are so determined to sign him and that he wants to join, he thinks this week will be decisive. He said last week that meetings were set for this week to determine the future of the player and he's standing by that fact today. So it seems like it's Makaji's word and Darren Lewis's word against Joyce and Bascom. Who to believe, the Merseyside reporters are usually pretty spot on, but who knows what sort of information they've been given. I pretty much ruled out the move last night. Should I open my eyes to the fact that this may still be alive? Who knows? What also cannot be ignored is the fact that Naby Keita today put in a horrific tackle on one of his teammates in training, obviously didn't look happy. This is apparently very out of character for the midfielder. Diego Demo was the player that fouled him initially, then he retaliated with a real horror tackle. It's all over the internet, I'm sure you've seen it. This sort of thing might happen in training all the time, but it does point to the fact that he may well be a bit disgruntled with life at Leipzig. Is he trying to force the move? Has he got it in him to force the move? People don't seem to think he's that sort of guy. This is obviously a very unprecedented situation for him. He's never had an offer from such a huge club before. Leipzig will not let him go despite these absolutely humongous offers both in terms of transfer fee and the wages that he'd be on at Liverpool. We know that Virgil van Dijk has taken some sort of action against Southampton. He's on strike or training alone, whichever side of the story you want to believe there. May we see a similar situation brewing with Naby Keita. Is he going to force the move? Is this Liverpool's only hope? And are they actually still interested in this player this summer? Keita and Demo are friends again. Leipzig have put out on their socials that everything's okay, the player's fine. Keita didn't mean it maliciously. Some of you have been pointing to the fact that he's now following Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino on Instagram, as well as a Firmino fan page. Do we really want to read into social media? Do we really want to be looking at who players are following? I feel like we see this all the time. I just can't believe that it's taken less than a day since it looked like the deal was dead to now being resurrected and people making noises again about the fact he may well still come. This Ghanaian journalist has thrown it all back into the air again. What's going to happen? I know a lot of you just want us to move on, get it over with, we don't need a midfielder, that's a lot of your opinions. Maybe this one isn't dead yet, maybe it isn't. About a week ago I was very sure this was going to happen, last night I pretty much ruled it out. I'm in no position to say either way whether this is going to happen, I still err towards no, Van Dijk I'm erring towards yes, but what do I know? Leave a comment with your thoughts on today's developments. You've all been fantastic in the comments recently. Really appreciate all the support on both here and on Instagram and everywhere else on Twitter too. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Share the video for me, drop a like on it, and follow my other socials at Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.